I would like to introduce our city manager, Dave Rudat, and he's going to introduce the team and have them right up on stage so we can congratulate them and cheer for them. Okay, everyone, uh, congratulations so I don't forget later. This is an awesome, awesome uh, accomplishment. Uh, I was very envious, watched a lot of Little League on TV. That would be that, but Little League's not often on TV. You guys were fabulous. Okay, if we can have the first player, Sana Shari. Go. All right. Next is Eli Jones. All right. James Fork the third. We've got our city staff team, Rich Todd. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, coach. Cameron Roush, assistant coach. Acknowledgements here. Thank you. All right, so thank you, team. We are now going to play the national anthem.
actually stay up on the stage. We're going to bring up Nicole for some team acknowledgement. Hello. Wow, that's really loud. Uh, my name is Nicole Steinbach. I'm the president of East Lake Little League for about another half an hour. Um, I just want to congratulate the team, and there's so many acknowledgments. The first one is they won the District 9 Championship. <laughs> They won the Washington State Championship. <laughs> then they flew down to San Bernardino, California, and they won the Northwest Region Championship. <laughs> And then next, they went to the Little League World Series in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. They didn't win the whole thing, but they had an amazing team win against Florida. Eli Jones threw a no-hitter. It was the first individual home no-hitter by a Washington team since 1980 and the first individual Little League World Series since 2015. But, yes, that's amazing. That's a time to applaud for sure. And, and on defense, and it was amazing team effort. Sanath Chari turned a clutch double play at first base in the second inning with two runners on and only one out. Jackson Wheeler, where's Jackson? Wheeler. He was amazing behind the plate yeah. as always. Yeah. 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 Kellen Kinney, Ryder Oswald, Walter yeah. Steinbrock, Eli Jones all made yeah. important outs in the infield. Yeah. And of course, all outs are important. Yeah. Yeah. Sula Tien caught four fly balls in left field, including the last out of the game. And on offense, it was a team effort as well. Shout out to Logan Roush, whose heads up base running allowed him to reach first base in the first inning. Shout out to JJ Hamilton and James Orth III, who both had great swings and put the ball into play. And things happen when you put the ball into play. Yeah. And then it was in the fifth inning when things happened for us. Sawyer Todd got the first hit at the game with a line drive. Resiliency and perseverance. 
They were down 5 nothing in the top of the third inning, but they didn't give up. They put up eight runs in the next inning, and it was a back and forth battle, which they ended up winning 11-10. over that game and it was two months ago. It was absolutely crazy. Speaking of crazy, I want to talk about Sanoth Chari's pitching stats at State. Sanoth, they were absolutely insane. He pitched for 12 innings. He had 25 strikeouts. And he allowed, guess how many runs he allowed? Zero! Raise your hand if you've ever hit a home run in a Little League All-Star game. Yes, this includes adults as well. Anyone who's hit a home run in a Little League? Yes, yes, okay, okay, okay. Keep, keep your hand up if you hit two home runs in a Little League All-Star game. Awesome, okay. Keep your, in the same game, just for clarification, it has to be, okay, great, Rich. He knows baseball. Keep it up. If you hit three home runs in one Little League All-Star game. Now, keep it up. And if this same game, you turned an amazing double play from center field. Let's hear it for Kelly Kidding. It's very exciting. Um, the league declared July 18th, 2021 as Kellen Kinney Day. Speaking of having a day, there are several players and coaches on our team that are always seeming to have a good hair day. In fact, ESPN noticed and highlighted them. With the Hair Force, whoever's left, I know there's been some haircuts recently. Would the Hair Force like to step up and do a demonstration? Whatever you do. Wait, we're yo, yo, yo. Yes. Okay. Four, three, two, one. Hair four. Okay, another player caught the eye of ESPN. He threw two shutout innings against Texas in the Little League World Series. Super impressive. Cheers. 
them to spread out. And the last thing we have is for the team all together, and I don't know if you have a place that you keep all your big awards. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Um, oh, 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 yeah. So if we can, yeah, if we can kind of move the team. Yeah, because we want some photos. Yeah. Everyone's going to want to take a photo, right? We have a lot of people online watching you right now as well, so we want to make sure they can see you. They're on Facebook Live, and they want to see the whole team. Sorry, my back. back. So this goes to the team as a whole. It's for you guys, because you're the ones that are going to have to dust you. You did a great job, you guys. You kept everybody in order, and you made some magic proud. That's awesome. Thank you very much. I should do this. We all know who that belongs. No, sorry. Give it a Okay, if we can get the team to just line up for a photo really quickly, if you want to hold up your keys and then we want to cheer on this team. I'll be right Let's hear it for East Lake Little League Baseball. And if we can get Rich Todd to stay here, and I hear you have a few words um, as well. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I wanted to really just thank the community uh, for, for all your support out there. Uh, it was great seeing you guys come out, great seeing you guys uh, post on social media and, and showing that. Without you guys, this would have never been possible. And I just wanted to deeply tell you how much I really appreciate you guys. Uh, it was fantastic. I also wanted to thank the hard volunteer work workers with Little League and Little League in general. Um, obviously, it's a non-for-profit, so everybody that is participating, the coaches, the staff, everybody is a volunteer uh, and sacrificed many, many hours. I particularly want to be able to thank my coaches who were really the saints and the saviors of, of my sanity. Put your hands together, guys. These are the real heroes right here. Guys. Many, many coaches meetings. Many, 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 many talks. Late nights. Uh, strategizing. Doing whatever. Uh, and, and we didn't joke, but we said, we kept saying, this is what championships are made out of. And uh, I was just pleased and surprised and also just I was elated to know that it actually took us there. Thank you guys very much. Uh, both Cam, AJ, and also Ed, who's not here tonight, was our uh, one of our other coaches too. Uh, and I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for uh, literally for giving us this opportunity to be able to bring the whole entire community together. You guys have given these kids and us coaches memories that will last a lifetime. And I'm hope, uh, I just hope that you guys enjoyed the ride with us. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, Rich. Uh, yes, again, let's give a big round of applause for Rich Todd, our manager, who did a ton of work. For the players for taking on this wonderful journey. And thank you to the families and the community again for all the support. I do want to call out one coach um, in particular. So... When you go to the Little League Regionals and World Series this year, the teams were in pods and the kids weren't allowed to leave and parents weren't really able to interact um, with their kids. So there was a player advocate and our player advocate was Cam Roush. Come up here, Cam Roush. And so basically, if a kid was tired or hungry or sick or missing their parents or had some medicine things to do or there was fighting or whatever happens when you're 12, Cam looked after it. Ear so ear infection and there you go. Now imagine you're looking after 13 boys for a birthday party. Now imagine that birthday party is a sleepover. Now imagine that sleepover lasts 19 nights because that's what Cam was in charge of. So from all our families, thank you, Cam. And we got you a little gift and we spared no expense. And by that, I mean, we did not expense this at all. This is a rock because you rock. Thank you so much for taking care of our kiddos. Okay, so um, 
I want to just take one little mention. Little League World Series gets a ton of visibility and it's amazing experience, but really it's not the best part of Little League. The best part of Little League is when every player in our community is either playing t-ball or softball or baseball close to home with their friends, with all the neighbors in the stands. So I hope everyone brings signs up next year and brings all their friends with them. Go East Lake. So one more shout out if he's still here. So I volunteered on the East Lake board for three years before I retired and Bob Toygo, are you still here? There he is, there is Bob. Bob has, is the president of D9 of our district and he has been volunteering for 53 years and he is still going strong. So one of the things, so I brought a rock to the party. What Bob brought to the party was dirt. So this dirt is from uh, Williamsport, Pennsylvania. And so after this is done, we're going to go and sprinkle it and on ESP to give the lead league good luck for the upcoming 2022 season. Okay. Thanks everyone for being here and go Eastlake.